You had quite the ceremony in Spanish for it for phase two of the Alabama State Veterans Memorial Cemetery dedication. Mm -hmm. Work began more than a year ago and with phase two complete, the cemetery will be able to continue serving Alabama's veterans and their families. Our Baldwin County reporter Hal Sherrick was there and had a chance to visit with those responsible. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light. It was a special day for Alabama's veterans and their families. With Tuesday's dedication, they can rest assured that there will be a place, at least for another 10 years, for those veterans who want to be laid to rest alongside their fellow service members. Retired U.S. Army veteran of 36 years, Colonel Pat Downing gave the keynote address and knows what this sacred ground means to those families. Before we had the Spanish Fort State Veterans Memorial Cemetery, people had to, their loved ones had to be buried either in Pensacola or, or over in Mississippi near Biloxi. So this, this is wonderful now. It makes it feel wonderful to know that we have a place so close uh, and loved ones can, can visit uh, their loved ones here at this sacred place. It means a lot. Phase two of Alabama State Veterans Memorial Cemetery in Spanish Fort will provide an additional 2,762 in-ground burial sites and 960 columbarian niches to hold the Asheville urns of those choosing cremation. In addition, there's a memorial wall with 100 sites. Commissioner of the Alabama Department of Veterans Affairs, Admiral Kent Davis, says the cemetery's anticipated growth is right on track with projections. And we knew that about every 10 to 12 years, we'd have to do a major expansion of the, of the f facility here because you look around, we've uh, done a lot of burials. I think we have 13 interments this week alone. It was Pearl Harbor Day, December 7th, 2012, when phase one was dedicated in front of a huge gathering of veterans and dignitaries. At the time, the cemetery offered 2,700 in-ground burial sites. Some of the vets seen in these images from that day have since been laid to rest here themselves. The late John Tyson Sr. had the vision. Dr. Barry Lee Booth shared that vision and had the land to make it happen and got the state legislature behind it. To know the peace and healing a place like this provides to families also brings him peace. Well, it, it, that and it does for my family also because we felt like that this was hallowed ground and couldn't be it for better use and have uh, those that served our nation. There are eight more future expansions planned for the cemetery here, and that will guarantee that veterans and their families will be served here for another 100 years. Now, big help in paying for this phase of expansion was a $5 million grant that was provided by the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs Cemetery Grants Fund. The state also has chipped in money to have some more amenities. Put in here. Live in Spanish Fort, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.